Weidman with the Catamaran Company. We're in Fort Lauderdale today aboard Wildberry Sun Reef 74 2015, available for sale now. Here in the salon, we have a ceiling mounted television. This is on a wireless remote. There's a iPad control that controls the audio, the video inside the boat, and also raising and lowering the TV screen. When it's not in use, it securely stores the television up there. And then when down, we can pivot it so it's viewable from the rest of the salon. Wildberry has an inside helm station. So we have engine controls here. This is a controller for the power coming into the boat. We have two separate water makers, two separate controls there. We also have a remote for the chart plotters and radar. Here we have the Sunreef Navi bus display, water tank levels, fuel tank levels, any alarm status of the engine and generators. We have a set of multifunction displays. And then here we have a launch port display. This controls all of the audio and video on the boat raises and lowers the television in the salon that I showed you. The owners of Wildberry in particular like to have a group breakfast and they built this and collaborated with Sun Reef's design team to make a breakfast bar. They have a coffee bar in this area. There's also a sink, loads of cabinet storage. It's a wine locker here. and an ice maker. So this area also in the evening doubles as a wet bar. Lots of storage in this console. There's some long storage that goes quite far back into this space. You can see they've built in all this lovely shelving to display some of the things they've picked up along the way and also a great library to store items in. Designed these drawers to have all of his video and photographic equipment easily accessible and with very specific locations. So you can see they have these very nice drawers where all this equipment fits into nicely. Nice high-end underwater camera equipment, all conveniently stored and easily accessible. When we built this boat for the current owner, something very important to him was to have enough power outlets. So you'll find here in the salon, conveniently, USB outlets, 110 volt outlets, HDMI connections to watch video on the screens or download videos from cameras, more 110 volt outlets. On this side, another set of USB connections, 110 volt outlets. This side, once again, more USBs, 110 volt HDMI connecting to the audio and video system on board. These are controls for turning on lights and blinds. All the blinds here in the salon are electrically actuated, so we can uh, make the salon shaded and very private with the touch of a button. Now we have three zones. We have the side, the forward blinds, and the port side blinds. And then to lower all the blinds, it's the same thing with this control here. Tables are electrically actuated, so they go up and down, so you can make them cafe height or coffee table height. The leaves fold out, the table spins. So this can be indoor dining and enough seating for 10 quite easily. The tables can be lined up so they all fit together or you can have one high at cafe table height and one low at coffee table height. Very nicely done, makes great use of the space. This is the galley aft port side. Here we have a huge counter space, double sink, dishwasher, large propane gas stove, exhaust hood. We have drawer freezers here. And a large household fridge, nice side by side. With a freezer and ice maker in the bottom. 
We've got some toasters and small oven appliances there. This is trash storage and recycling. And the 74s are designed with a hatch so things can be passed through here. The ovens are located back behind the door. This is on the inboard side, so we've got a nice Viking front-loading oven. And then also a Miele microwave just above it. In the floor of the galley, there's a top-loading freezer. And this is the second top-loading freezer in the floor of the galley area. We will have a look at the port forward cabin and crew cabin access. The port forward cabin, the owner of this boat, when we were having it built, I was involved in the build of this boat initially. One of the number one criteria was having loads of storage. He had owned a Lagoon 620 before this boat. So you'll notice in every cabin, there's lockers everywhere, every space possible underneath the berths, behind the door here, all these cabinets outside, washer and dryer there. Everywhere you look on the boat, there's this place to store things. The owner has a large family. The boat's only been privately used. This is an additional berth that was fit at Sunreef that allows to come down to where two people can sleep here, but in separate berths. We're going into the starboard forward head and shower. And this door here also leads into the crew cabin. So it's accessible either from a hatch in the deck or through this watertight door. So it still allows you to maintain the integrity of the watertight bulkhead forward, but with the convenience of being able to walk through when needed. In the forward crew cabin, there's a sink basin, there's a toilet and a shower here in this space, and then a separate berth, a hatch accessible here from the, from the deck. This is gonna be used for guests and the crew can enter this compartment separately. Port side midship, we have a separate washer and dryer, both melee. These are all updated and in good condition. Port side midship cabin. This is one of the bunks I was telling you about. We have a large queen size berth here, a single bunk for another crew member. This bunk also folds down and folds back, flat screen TV, and then also a separate Raymarine multifunction display so you can see radar, chart plotter, this is the midship guest cabin and head with a separate shower compartment in it. This is the starboard side aft cabin. This is the largest cabin and the owner's cabin on board. And it's closed off from the salon with this pocket door. This is the owner's walk-in closet. Loads of hanging locker space, drawers, and back in this space you have a shoe rack. His and hers hanging lockers, his and hers drawers, but I think most of these hanging lockers and drawers are hers as well. In the floor of the owner's cabin, there's loads of bin storage here. You can see they've got spares for the generators and engines. This is the owner's cabin office. We've got power outlets, connections, Another display for all the chart plotter, radar, nav information. This is for the sat phone. Another set of lockers. We have a TV lift here. So this raises and then conceals when not in use. This is the owner's head and shower. So we have a toilet compartment here. There's a hamper, more storage, sliding door for privacy. His and hers sink basins. Nice window to look out from the bathroom in the morning when you're brushing your teeth. And a large separate shower compartment. Plenty of storage here for shampoo collection. This is the starboard forward cabin. This is a very similar cabin to what we saw on the port side forward. A couple differences, don't have the fold down Pullman bunk on that side. And also in the head compartment, there is not access into the forward bow locker. That compartment is only accessible from the deck. This is a forward starboard head and shower, the guest cabin.